Hello and welcome to this quick video about how you use something like this. This is a micrometer and the way it works is that as you unwind it, the gap that's between these two pieces of metal can be measured incredibly accurately. There's no screens, there's no batteries, this is the old school way of doing it and it's really really simple and easy to use. So if I just close this all the way up, what you'll notice here on the scale is that the zero that's on the front of it here is matching up with the zero on the left hand side. And as I unwind it, you'll see that these numbers will change and they go all the way up to back to zero. That is half a millimeter. So that gap there now is half a millimeter. If I rotate it around again, one complete revolution. So the zero is back that gap is exactly one millimeter. So how you use this thing here is that this scale along the top is actually millimeter. So as I roll it out, you can see I'm getting further and further away. So there's 10 millimeters. If I put the zero on that line in the middle, that datum line, then that is exactly a 10 millimeter gap. So this line here in the middle, is the datum line, that solid line that goes across, and that's the one we're gonna read against in a moment. The top line here is actual millimeters, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, and the lines at the bottom are half millimeters. So if I close this up, right the way to the very end, and bear with me, you'll see that as I unwind it, so let me do one full revolution, which is going to give me half a millimeter, you'll see that you can just about see that half a millimeter mark there. If I roll it out another half a millimeter, so the zero comes back on that datum line, you'll be able to see that you can just see there that the one millimeter mark is shown. This little piece here allows you to lock so it doesn't rotate if you want precise measurement. But then what we can do is we can put something in between these two jaws and we can measure it. So let's just put this key ring in here, and we're gonna close it up. We're not gonna use massive amounts of pressure, we just want it to just kiss against it. And now we'll be able to find out exactly what the thickness of this key ring is. So we can see here that what we have on the top row, we have three millimeters. So it's definitely three millimeters thick, but it's a little bit more than that. We can just about make out if I bring it all the way round to zero, that would be three and a half, so it's not quite that much. So if I bring it there, we can see at the moment that it's 3.35 millimeters. Actually, it's slightly less. So I would say it's 3.355 millimeters because that line is in between the one above and below it. 3.35 would be exactly there, and that's not quite catching it, it's a little bit less. So let me do another measurement, let me just wind that out a little bit. And if you're not sure the way that I do it, is I would always take it to the zero and just see which line it is. So it isn't quite on the half mark, the half mark is just appearing. So at the top, we know it's two millimeters, and it's 2.3 five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight. So it's 2.38 millimeters. That's the distance that I'm measuring over here. Now the big trick with these things is that when you first use them, make sure that these surfaces and faces here inside are completely clean. And when you close it up and those two faces kiss and that you're not a it's not like doing up a screw, you just literally want them to stop that the zero is in exactly the right place. If it's not, lots of the more professional versions of this will actually give you an adjustment tool, but if that's what you find, then you can adjust it. So again, very, very easy to do. If you want to measure something and measure it in this gap, as you rotate it one full revolution, that has now, when the zero comes around, that has now opened the gap to half a millimeter. One more revolution is going to be one full 
millimeter. And then using the scale, you can get incredibly precise measurements without the need of a battery or anything else. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.